Sports. Welcome into Cronkite Sports Live. We're talking Arizona State softball. They went 15 and two at home to start off their season. But now they go on the road. Jacob, maybe could you give us a couple names that we possibly haven't heard from just yet, but could break out on this long road trip? Well, Gavin, I'm going to look at the freshmen on this team. Start with first baseman Fale Lua. She had an extremely hot weekend last weekend at the plate. Uh, she had three home runs in three consecutive games and also improved her slugging percentage to 1,000. That's incredible. Uh, and it, it seemed even when she wasn't hitting the ball over the fence, the ball was finding its way to the warning track as well. Uh, and then I'm also going to look at utility player Taylor Becerra. She started 15 of the 17 games for the Sun Devils this year. And she's kind of that utility player that you can put her anywhere in the infield. We've seen her mainly at third base and second base. All right, so a strong start from a couple of Arizona State stalwarts, a couple names that are going to break out. How do you see them doing on this road trip? Obviously, an incredibly strong start at home. Uh, on this road trip, I can see them doing really well. They have two pretty tough matchups against ranked teams in Baylor and Missouri. Missouri is ranked one ahead of them. But the pitching is strong for the team. The Sun Devils have outscored their opponents 133 to 48. I see them having no problems. OK. So after this road trip, we start getting into Pac-12 play. And I think, as you told me before the show, an incredibly competitive Pac-12 conference this season. The Pac-12 is an extremely uh, competitive conference. There's four teams ahead of ASU in the, the rankings. Uh, those teams are Oregon, Washington, UCLA, and the University of Arizona. Uh, ASU has a little bit of catching up to do, but I think the Sun Devils have a strong enough offense and pitching to catch up. All right, so a strong start for Arizona State without Craig Nicholson, but things only get tougher from here. Thank you so much, Jacob. We'll be back with more content on Crockett Sports Live.